neuroscience is the study of the brain. And so there's a lot of fields that are out there that you know study planets or study biology in general, but this is a very specific one. How does the brain work? How do you see things and how do you turn them into something in your brain? How does your brain send messages out to your arms and cause your arms to move? All that's being studied in the field of neuroscience. It's a pretty fascinating field because the brain is electrical, it's chemical, it's it's active, it's alive. It's, it's a fun it's a fun thing to study. There are a few areas where neuroscience has made pretty good progress and one of them is we understand how the neurons inside the ear send messages to the brain when we hear things. So in some people that are deaf that have lost the hair cells in their ears, they can place little electrodes in there and they're able to hear again even though they would normally be deaf. So that's a pretty cool breakthrough. Another one is in deep brain stimulation. So if you have uh, Parkinson's disease and you have this, uh, uh, these abilities of these tremors and you can't stop having these tremors, scientists through neuroscience have found out how to place an electrode inside the brain using a little bit of electrical current, just like it would be on your, on your iPhone, and to stop that brain from, from acting up and make all the tremors go away. So this is uh, two pretty major things that have happened within my lifetime, uh, just by studying the brain and understanding how the electrical components of the brain work. People are looking at other areas, for example, obesity. Maybe we can turn on a switch and all of a sudden we're no longer hungry, or one thing. Gambling addiction, things that you would think are more, that you would never be able to put down on a piece of paper that you'd be able to solve this. Maybe that's the way. The brain works in very mysterious ways, and if we could just do what we we've been doing with electricity before in other area parts of the brain and maybe we could do that in the future so there are definitely clinical trials going on looking at this and I think it we may see that with the next 10 years